Making sense of rain. Learning to measure precipitation in English. Hello, English learners. In today's video, we're going to delve into a fascinating aspect of weather vocabulary. Measuring precipitation. Not only will we discuss what precipitation is, but we'll also explore some useful English vocabulary related to measuring different kinds of precipitation. So, grab your raincoats and let's dive in. Before we get into measuring precipitation, it's important to understand what we mean by precipitation. Precipitation refers to any form of water, liquid or solid, that falls from the atmosphere and reaches the ground. This includes rain, snow, sleet, and hail. When we talk about measuring precipitation, we're typically discussing the amount that has fallen over a certain period. The most common units used to measure precipitation in English are inches or millimeters. For example, you might hear someone say, we received an inch of rain last night, or the weather forecast predicts 20 millimeters of snow tomorrow. Now, let's look at how we can describe the intensity of rainfall. There are specific terms we can use to describe how hard or soft it is raining. 1. Drizzle. This means very light rain. 2. Light rain, a term for a small amount of rain. 3. Moderate rain, used to describe a normal amount of rain. 4. Heavy rain or downpour. These terms are used when it is raining a lot. It's also common to use the verb, to pour, when it's raining heavily, as in, it's pouring outside. When it comes to snow, we often describe it in terms of its depth or heaviness. 1. Light snow, a small amount of snowfall. 2. Moderate snow, a normal amount of snowfall. 3. Heavy snow or snowstorm. These terms are used when a lot of snow is falling. For example, you might say, we had a light dusting of snow last night, or, there's a heavy snowstorm forecast for this weekend. And there you have it. You've learned some important English vocabulary related to precipitation and how to measure it. We hope you found this video helpful. Remember, weather is a common topic of conversation, so these new words will come in handy often. Keep practicing, stay curious, and as always, Happy learning.